Now remember from section 2.3 that we learned that a relative frequency ogive was called a percentile graph. And I warned you at the time, like, hey, these have value, they really do, and now we're seeing that value. So these are very common in doctor's offices and actually on test result scores when you get them back, like I was saying with the SATs and things like that. All right, so we're going to look at an ogive that is the ages at inaugurations of all the U.S. presidents as of 2020. All right, so this is a cumulative percentage graph. In other words, it's a percentile graph because when you look at a score here, you can see, you know, 80% of the um, ages of the presidents were less than or equal to this value. That's what you're looking at. A ruler will be really helpful, straight edge. I mean, it doesn't really have to be a ruler per se. It doesn't have to have measurements on it, but it will just help you when you work with this. Okay, President Obama was 47, um, I should say years old, sorry, when inaugurated. Approximately what percentile was he in? Um, interpret the meaning of this value. So let me just kind of add a years old in there. I'll add that for future. Okay, so here's 45, here's 50. So halfway between 45 and 50 is 47.5. So that value right there is 47.5. I'm just doing the calculation in my head, but I mean, just as a side note, um, I'm going to take a detour and do this because I want to remind you all that knowing how to figure out how much the tick marks are worth on a graph like this is key. So those two markers are at 45 and 50 and then separated into two equal sections, right? Because there's one marker in between, so it's 47.5. See right here? I'm actually going to write that in pen. So this is 47.5 right there, that, that little tick mark right there. So then, and I divided by two again because there's two equal sections. So President Obama was at 47, so he was right about there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a ruler and we're going to go as straight vertical, vertically as we can. Right? So vertically, straight up. We hit the graph and then we want to go horizontally straight over. Don't want any bend in that ruler. Right? You don't want to tilt it, you want it to be straight. It can help if you do it this way so you can kind of visually see because that line down here was drawn by a computer and that's straight, horizontal. So you want a straight horizontal line this way. And there we can see it's right around the 10th percentile, right about halfway. And again, there's two tick marks, or sorry, one tick mark there, are two sections. And so if this is 20, then that must have been 10. So he's around, I'm going to put a squiggly equals because, you know, this isn't perfect, the 10th percentile. So what does that mean for him? Well, he was relatively young, right, when he um, took office. So President Obama... was young when inaugurated. Now, how do I know that? Well, I know that 10%, let's just do that script one more time, because you get, you need to get some practice with that script. So the interpret script would be that 10% of presidents were less than or equal to, and this is age, so they were younger then, were younger, well, let me just say less than or equal to, and I'll just follow the script, were less than or equal to 47 years old when inaugurated. I guess I could say when inaugurated over here. 7% uh, of presidents at inauguration. Here, let me just kind of slide that in there. At inauguration. This is, you know, the day that they take the oath of office, that kind of thing. We're less than or equal to 47 years old, which was President Obama's age. So that's how I know he was young, right? Only 10% of presidents were younger than him, which means 90% of presidents were older than him, right? So 90% of presidents were older.
All right, now let's look at TJ, President Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> now this is gonna go backwards. This doesn't give us the age, it gives us the percentile first. Okay, so we take our ruler, we go up here. The 70th mark is right there, right? We go on the percentile side, not the age side, right? 47 years old was right here. Oh, I should have labeled that, My sorry. I'm sorry. So that was 47, that went to 10. So now we're starting at 70, and we're going to use our ruler, and we want to draw as straight a line as we can until we touch that graph. And by straight, I mean lines are straight. It's, I want it to be horizontal. I want it to be parallel to that axis. So I'm going to draw straight over. Boom. That looks pretty straight. And now I want to draw straight vertically down, or up actually, because I put the tick marks on either side. but. I won't do that all the time, so there you have it. So now we have to figure out what this is. Well, that line in between is 57.5, because this is 60, this is 55. So that's 57.5 right there, that, that little tick mark right there. So this must be, I don't know, 58, 58 and a half, somewhere in there, right? So he was about 58 years old. You could say 58 and a half, that's fine. We're doing a squiggly equals here. That's an approximation sign. It's an equal sign that's got a wobble to it to say, you know, this isn't perfect. We're, we're kind of eyeballing this. All right, so President Thomas Jefferson Jefferson was older. Older president when inaugurated. Oh, it did ask for the interpretation. I didn't, I didn't remember that I'd asked for that. So let's see that interpret script. So it's from the previous page. So we would say not 58, so 70%, because that's the percentile. 70% of presidents at inauguration, that's what I should have written above, inauguration were less, oops, less than, I was about to say than less, no, less than or equal to Thomas Jefferson's age of, and I'm playing a little bit with the script. The script is, you know, in place, but I'm kind of adding in some context here. Thomas Jefferson's age of 58 years old. Right. I mean, I could have done that up here. Um, equal to Obama's age of 47. I mean, you can you can augment the script. The scripts are not locked in. I mean, they're they're trends. You want to follow the path that they lead on. Right? You still want to have the percentage written up here, and you want to say less than or equal to, and you want to say the value. But the t context can kind of expand out a little bit. So you can say less than or equal to, and then you say the value over here, 47. But I can kind of play a little bit with, you know, putting in Obama's name and talking about inauguration and things like that. So I have to add that context in, and that's where the squishiness to those scripts comes in. So, and that's true for all scripts and statistics generally, most of them. There's a little bit of squishiness to them. They're giving you the pattern that you have to follow, but there's always some context or something you have to write about a little bit. And that's where the opportunity to kind of make it your own comes in. By the way, you can also think of it as 30% of presidents were older than, than Thomas Jefferson, right? So note, only, oops. Colon. There we go. Only 30% of presidents were older at Thomas Je than Thomas Jefferson. I'm going to call him TJ. We go way back. <laughs>